So, uh, speaking of Ahmadinejad, uh, you know, he's not a president anymore. And the Iranian government has released a press release that they're going to free him back to the wild so he can go. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, on his last trip, he used to come to the United States every year and stand at the podium uh, to an audience like this. The room would empty out. Uh, you think he was doing a Shia Bus Wednesday night comedy. So I'm going to leave and it was like, death to Israel, Israel should be wiped off the map of the world. And it's like, nobody would get it because he was saying in Farsi, right? So they tell him, look man, don't be an idiot. Learn some English so Americans will get the message maybe Israel will be wiped off the map of the world after this speech. So he learns a little bit of English just as much as the Iranians in LA for welfare and shit. So then like, yeah. He comes to he comes to America and he's in Hilton Hotel watching uh, biography channel. He notices that they're showing Saddam Hussein was killed, Gaddafi was killed, Hosni Mubarak was in coma. He goes, shit, I wonder if I am next. So he runs to the front desk. He goes, uh, my friend, my friend, can you uh, can you show me uh, to the person who can tell me what happened tomorrow? I'm sorry, come again? Okay. You know the man with the big towel on his head, looking at the glass football, <laughs> telling you what happened tomorrow? And he was like, oh, you mean a sidekick? You want to see a sidekick? Sidekick, kick side, upside penalty, it doesn't matter. So, so they take him to a sidekick, and the sidekick says, what's your name, sir? He says, I am Dr. Professor uh, uh, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the President of Iran. What can I do for you, sir? Uh, I will give you a lot of money. Can you tell me what day I, Ahmadinejad, will die? The psychic says, Sir, it's obvious you're going to die on a Jewish holiday. He says, Really? Which one? Says, it doesn't fucking matter. Any day you die will be a Jewish holiday. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I wish you guys were here earlier. I mean, there were a lot of Arabs that, like, even though we were speaking English, like, you're not funny. If I had the bomb, I would kill you right now. <laughs>